Hello guys, what's up? Bridges from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. This is Silver Effects Rotoscoping Masterclasses. And this video, I'll talk about all about that rotoscoping tips and tricks video because this is the last module from this entire station. Let's get started. Guys, we are working with Graphi by an academy. If you still not go and follow us over there, you can go and check it out. The first Geoscoping Masterclasses course will be starting from 22nd of May and it will end on 5th of June. Enrollment free is only 3000. And the most important thing is this will be a complete live session face to face with me. So go and subscribe and also enroll here because we have 10 limited seats. So guys, this video is the last video of this complete module. Hope you really enjoyed that entire Silver FX module. Comment down below about your feedback of this complete module module and in this video I'll talk about few important tips and tricks and more other tools that I missed on the complete module okay so first one is based on the multi frame okay so just select a new layer I'm just doing a basic simple roto hop this complete thing here and I'm just making a new shape here and obviously I just have to change the shape positions just like this and I just have to do a simple basic roto here so I'm just making the shape something like that and I'm just select R on my keyboard and make the shapes something like very good in positions that's it okay now shift a to make it something like that and yeah that is fine okay now you have to press shift t for the mocha track and i'm just making a normal perspective track or like a forward track so you can see the track is happening very well let's change the color to red so that you can exactly see what i'm trying to show you here and first of all just stabilize this one by active layer now you can see the roto is done completely we have to do some very basic changes here so just make sure the shape uh, like positions are exactly same here so just select the shape here and uh, vertex and just change the positions just like this and here also i'm just making the positions here i just want to make a precise roto of this area otherwise you can understand what is multi frame go to the first frame and here also just change the shape positions and uh, yeah that's it now you just go to in between frames and let's see yes there are some distortions here as well and here also just make sure and this area is also a bit like this okay so this area is completely done now if you want to do this thing in a different way like after doing the roto if you find out that no this area is completely wrong you have to increase this so how you can do that so the shortcut of the multi frame is press m so now you can see the red bar is activated here now if you go to any one of this keyframe here like this frame or this frame or any one here if you change anything like i just want to change this area to this and let's see this area to this this is just an example okay guys so don't judge me on that this is an example so when you've done this then turn off the multi frame by pressing m here again so that that red bar will be off so the multi frame shortcut is also from here just turn on here and turn this off on here as well now if you play this you can see the exact shapes are getting changed for each and every keyframe so multi frame is means that if you did any mistake or if you want to change the entire animation or entire shape position on all the keyframes you can exactly do it by using in the multi frame now the very simple point is here if you make some very very keyframes or like too many keyframes on like each and every frame you just put in a keyframe then the multi frame process will not work properly it will work only like when you have a very less keyframes so this is the way you can do the multi keyframe process now guys the next point is all about shape merging now many guys are asking me about whenever you draw any shapes how you can merge both the shapes so now what happened if you make a shape just like this you just completely done this okay but sometimes what happened when you start drawing a shape and suddenly you just have double click and just the shape is stopped by mistake like this so now what happened you just have to select r click here and you can start by making a shape by pressing alt and then you can exactly start making you just have to hold the alt and then you can draw the shape that's it now for the merge what you have to do just have to select your b spline i'm just making one two three shapes here like this and press escape and then one two three here and then just press escape so i have these two layers okay or these two shapes here so select these two press r here then select these two vertices and pressing alt and keep any one of this up point and then click here by pressing alt and the shape will be merged here like this now 
and for merging these two areas this is not the same process by pressing alt and click then it will merge yes because this is only applicable for one time so select these two and click any one of your right click and then press then close that's it now the shape is completely closed so in this way you can exactly draw by two shapes and make it in, in single piece next is all about the this area options here so i'm just making a shape here so that you can exactly uh, show what i'm trying to show here like this so just make a shape here that's it now this is called onion skin this thing is exactly applicable for paint purposes so i'm just leave it like this this is a snapshot when you want to take any snapshot from here just click here and it will become a snapshot like this so this is the option called this panel you can turn off hide and all this thing this is exactly very important part of this this is called ROI so when you turn on this one you can exactly find out some merging points are here so just click and you can maintain everything like if you just cut the entire footage and only this much footage will be buffered so it will very easy to handle on your system then you can turn on your new part and move the shape anywhere you want to like I want to take this area right now roto then just simply press play here that's it this is a zoom just like a normal zoom and uh, when you activated this one this one will be activated as well this is a stabilizer option this is a rotation option you can exactly rotate the complete footage it I don't think this is completely necessary or not and this one is called this hide layers and all you can by pressing zero also you can hide in and hide out that's it now guys last is called the rendering process for rendering you have to go to this output panel double click here you can find out this note panel will be popped up here here you have to do few settings here first of all if you want to do it in RGB then check it out and if you don't want RGB if you want only the alpha then turn on this alpha you can render both like RGB and also alpha basically we need the alpha one if you have any depth map also then you can turn this depth map on as well now this is the file location where you want to exactly export your complete footage here this is the for format like openex or dpx jpeg and all you just have to put it completely up to you this is a compression process if you don't want to compress you just make it to none but most of the time we just make it to zip that's it and after that if you really want to pre multiply then turn this on if you have any multiple views both left and right you can check it out only left and right or else you can check only the both option that's it and whenever you're happy with that you have to go to station and you can find out the render station the shortcut is control r click this render station and you can find out this mini process here the render is called output node so this node will be rendered that is called the all output node and also the selected output node this is a frame starting range and ending range output frame range this is a preview option and when you're happy with everything you just have to press render panel that's it the render will be starting so guys, I hope you really enjoyed this all 10 modules from Silver FX rotoscoping masterclasses. And if yes, then please do comment on this below section. And if you really like my all the videos, then subscribe to VFX World. And for more, you just have to check out our graphy panel by an academy because this is a massive one for learning all of you in a very good way. So guys, see you in my more amazing videos very soon. Till then, have fun, stay home, follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And keep watching, keep rocking. VFX world.